If you look at every story ever told, the main character always had someone that was guiding them. Mulan had Mushu, Frodo had Gandalf, Lightning had Doc, Harry had Dumbledore, Aladdin had Jasmine, I, I mean, I mean the genie. I think you should do this as an exercise. Like think about the, like your favorite series, either a book or movie, you think about main character and like who did they have in their life that they had as a mentor? Like who were they looking up to? Who was helping guide their decisions? Chances are very likely it'll be something or someone that's been helping them along the journey. It is the classic hero's journey and you are the hero in your journey. So who's guiding you? In this video, I'm gonna share with you why it's important to have a mentor, who should you choose, and how do you actually find one? So, first of all, why do you need a mentor? Have you ever struggled to make a decision? Like, maybe you're at a point in your life and like you have to decide whether or not you should choose this job over that one, or maybe this course over that course, or like you're trying to figure out what is next for you in your journey. Like, have you ever struggled with that? Now, for all I know, you might have a really strong internal compass and you might know exactly what decision would be best for you. But I think a lot of us actually struggle to figure out what is it exactly that I should be doing? Like what decision will be best for me? What decision will fit my goals the best? Sometimes we struggle to make these decisions. And like the bigger the decision, sometimes the harder it is to make because it just requires a lot more thought. And I don't know about you, but I think there's so many times where I've like just made a decision and it just hasn't worked out in my favor at all. Like it just completely stuffed up everything. And I'm sure you've had an experience where you've perhaps maybe made a wrong decision for you and it might have left you feeling hopeless, heartbroken, like out of place. You might have felt like these things before. And in all honesty, like these things just happen in life. It's just part of the whole process that we sign up to when we're kind of born. And so, I'm not denying the fact that these things aren't gonna happen, but I think having a mentor just makes all, all this a lot easier and actually potentially prevents a lot of these bad decisions that we might make if we didn't have one. Put simply, living life without a mentor, it's like being on a ship out in the open sea in the middle of the night and having no lighthouse to guide you as to where you should be docking. So, on to the next thing. Who should you choose to be your mentor? I personally think, and I've read a fair few articles on this, and I think it just kind of makes sense as well, but really a mentor should fit these three criteria. One, they're preferably older than you because they just have more life experience. Two, they're an expert in your field. And what I mean by that, you're not gonna take a dentistry advice from an accountant. Like you want them to have a good idea of what's coming next. If you're an aspiring entrepreneur, you wanna take advice from someone who is an entrepreneur and also probably has success in the field. And the last thing, number three, is that they have your best interests at heart and they are concerned for your well-being. This is easier when you know the person, but sometimes people just don't wanna see you succeed. Like they just don't want you to do better than you. And like, unfortunately, sometimes that's just how it is. But a true mentor, like one that really, really is a good, healthy, and strong mentor, an important one to have, is one that is concerned for how well you're doing. And like sometimes I may even take it another step further and actually be in your corner and like seek opportunities for you. Like those are even, those are exceptional mentors, but I think bare minimum, just make sure that they have your best interest at heart. Not theirs, yours. And there are so many great people out there. Like there are heaps. So how do you find one? Look in your immediate circle. Like who are leaders in your community? Maybe it's even a parent or maybe it's like an uncle or an auntie that is just like, that is in the profession that you wanna get into or you're already in, but they're like in like a few higher levels than you. And so you wanna figure out, you know, what do you do next? Like figure it out, like figure it out like that. If you don't have someone in your immediate circle, then I'd definitely reach out over like LinkedIn or like Instagram. In all situations though, like never expect a yes. Some people just don't have the space to accommodate for like a mentee. But I can tell you, if you search, you will definitely find someone. And when you approach these people, the, like I wouldn't be doing this. I wouldn't be messaging them or like calling them up and saying, hey, can you be my mentor? Like straight up, first thing, I would not be saying that. I'd actually start off with like, like why, why do you want them to be your mentor in the first place? Like what about them inspires you? Like what about what about them makes you aspire to be like them? Maybe they did something, or maybe you had an experience with them, or like maybe, um, you know, maybe they did like they ran an event or something, and you're really like inspired and motivated by what they did. Like tell them that. When you tell them that, they're like, oh, okay, cool, hang on, this one, like this person's onto something. And then when you ask them, hey, like do you have a like a like a bit of time where I can ask you a couple of questions? 
they're probably more, they're more likely going to say yes. They're not, not always going to guarantee a yes, but they're like more likely be willing to listen to you and hear you out. And hopefully you get a mentor mentee relationship out of it. But like every relationship, it takes time. <laughs> so there you have it. I hope this video helped. If you enjoyed it, make sure you like it and you subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video. Catch you later. Bye.